guys. So I just had some leftover paint. So I was going to do, I just did some wave coasters. I was going to do a small one. And this has no silicone in it, but I really like the effect that's happening from the my mixture of the paints and the reaction of this uh, house paint. So it's just semi-gloss house paint. And what I did, I took it and to thicken it up just a little bit, I added some of my Creative Inspirations regular white to it. I, I didn't measure maybe like, I don't know, 20 milliliters maybe. Um, but it's still thin. It's not, you know, leaving that much of a trace. But see, there's a little bit. So it's a little bit thicker. Um, when my house paint semi-gloss is thin, it tends to kind of swallow up the colors. And then it creates this kind of film around it. And I like that too but I liked what happened when I didn't have that on there. So, whoops, that was a lot at the top. So I'm just going to pour my colors around like I always do for my wave paintings. I really love that blue that's in there, this uh, Payne's Gray. So let me see if you can tell let me take this off for a second. So I'll try to zoom you in so you see what I mean. Do you see how there's a little ring of white around there, around the colors? That's the, col that's the color seeping through to the canvas and the white staying on top. So I, I like that effect for a lot of stuff, but it's even more pronounced when I just use the semi-gloss paint mixture by itself. So I'm going to take my little spatula here. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So I'm going to use the same technique as the coasters. I'm just going to run around the wave, back across, let some of it run over the bottom and the sides. There's no right or wrong to this one. And then I'm going to take my straw and blow it out. I'm really just creating that water-like effect. I want some more of that paint spray down on the bottom. This is like the very end of it here. And I've also noticed that this semi-gloss um, paint actually dries really quickly, but I haven't had any cracking with it, so Gosh, that's just beautiful, you guys. I'm trying not to get my head in the way of the... So, now, I'm just going to slide it to the side a little bit. Let it run over the edges. If it doesn't go all the way over the edges, that's okay. I might pour a little bit of this to make it go over the edges. And I do want some more dark down there anyway, so. I'm gonna go back in with my straw. Okay, and now, so it looks like that right now. And then I come back in and it just looks like water after I torch. And this is with no silicone and it just sells up beautifully. So, I mean, it really, to me, looks like 
There we go, that's kind of what I wanted. Like splashing water. So gosh, the cells in there are just so cool. I'm just gonna drag that along a little bit. Make that connect. And look, it immediately sells up. I'll show you guys so that you can see it. Don't hold it too long. You don't want it to burn your paint. But gosh, I just think it's gorgeous. And I like the little edges here. So let me take you down and I'll show you. So that is the effect that I get. Oh my gosh, that's just unreal it's just so pretty so i don't know do you guys think it looks like water i think it does i think there's a lot of movement in there but anywho i'm gonna keep working with this with mixtures of this semi-gloss in combination with regular acrylic there's no satin enamel or anything like that in here just semi-gloss latex house paint. So, there she is. I really think it looks like water. You guys, let me know what you think. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Happy painting. Bye.